Hello guys and gals, welcome back to another episode of Cancel Gaming. This time we take a look at Maverick Hunter, the cancelled Mega Man first person shooter. So what is Maverick Hunter you may ask? Well, in 2010 Capcom decided to bring Mega Man into the future, even requesting help from the talent behind the Metroid Prime series, but like recently planned additions to the Mega Man franchise, this game ended up being cancelled. The game was basically Mega Man's first jump into the first person shooter genre, and with the talent of Armature Studios formed by X-Key developers and Retro, Retro Studios that powered the Metroid Prime series, and the game being set in the mythos of the Mega Man X series, it looked to be a recipe for success. Throughout the development cycle there were several videos that released, which I'll show you in a bit. So yes, the game did appear to be in a playable state, although of course it was a uh, proof of concept state, but still a playable state. Armature stated that the challenge would be like taking the taking an 8-bit game that doesn't really have a very deep story to it, and then building around it and keeping some of the key pieces intact. The game would have a new human sidekick with Mega Man, and at times the theme of man versus machine would kick in, and Mega Man, had, Mega Man would appear to be more human than his sidekick. The game would signal a trilogy of the Maverick Hunter games, developed with the Capcom Armature partnership. The series would switch protagonists somewhere in the middle, and the player would take control of Zero, and be tasked with defeating the Blue Mama himself. Pretty radical idea. Zero was meant to be an antivirus to Mega Man, containing something that allowed it to defeat Mega Man. Even the designer behind Mega Man, Kaiji Inafune, wanted Zero to be the new Mega Man, but it would have been a radical departure from the current paradigm, so the concept and character eventually became a sub-character. Inafune, when asked about the project, noted it was an idea. Also adding the fact that a that the original fans would now be grown up and would prefer the first person Mega Man as that style of gameplay was more popular, especially in the West. And with that, this would have ended up being a success. So the game was in development for several months, had a proof of concept build, which hey doesn't mean much but it's something and genuinely looked interesting and the plot definitely had some substance to it and it was even supported strongly within the company according to sources. So why was it cancelled? Well, around the departure of Kaiji and Afune, one of the key men behind the creation of Mega Man's character, the project was then cancelled by Capcom. And again, despite having strong internal support, it just wasn't greenlighted. Capcom still states, though, that the Mega Man franchise is very important to them, and whenever any new title is ready, they will share that news. Wow. Boy, isn't that depressing. Another Mega Man game cancelled. You know, I'm not a huge Mega Man person myself, but just looking at the series and its foray into this generation, I've seen a hell of a lot of remakes and collections, mobile adaptations, and fighter cameos. What are you doing with Mega Man, Capcom? This is your flagship series, a series that puts you on the map, so to speak. Yes, there are other series, but Mega Man is definitely one of the big recognizable ones. Do you not care about the franchise anymore? He hasn't hit the home console market this generation, and feel free to correct me, but you know, I'm excluding all the Xbox Live Arcade, PSN titles, or WiiWare. I'm talking about the home console full-on releases. You know, those uh, XBLA, PSN, WiiWare titles, they're, they're just not good enough. We need to see a flat-out, full-fledged game coming onto the home consoles. I mean, what the hell? This game didn't get green-lighted at all, but this did? Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 because this is what fans were just dying for, right? This is what appeals. No, not the Mega Man game developed with the minds behind Metroid Prime. No, 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 that's not what we wanted. Why cancel these games? Are you, like, scared of ruining the franchise? Instead of re-releasing games to the console, the iOS market, or Android markets, and releasing collections, why not work on a new edition of the franchise and actually release it? I guarantee, if you really worked on it, and gave the fans what they wanted, and if it turned out to be a good game. Because despite all the shit you get, Capcom, we all know that you're capable of making a very good game. We in return would buy it and enjoy it. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Mega Man, truth be told, but this idea was very interesting. You had an amazing concept for your plot. You had a great development team, with a stellar portfolio, and you cancelled this. From what we can ascertain, it's because Kaiji Inafune left. And yeah, there might be other reasons, but this seems to be the biggest reason ever since he left. Post-Mega Man games have just been getting cancelled. I mean, really, Capcom? I mean, come on, I can understand he is a very influential to the franchise, but still, it's not like you, can you can't continue without him. 
Granted, he was in the limelight for the development of the Mega Man games, but he didn't participate in every single development cycle for every single Mega Man related game. You had four Mega Man games you were working on, all of which had a market, to be honest. And people were lined up ready to play these games. You had Legends 3, which you cancelled, a game that fans wanted. You had Universe, and yeah, I know it was an Xbox Live Arcade and PSN title, but you could make your own levels, and for that, it, for that alone, it, it looked to be worth checking out, seeing all the fan-made levels that could possibly be created. Then you had Mega Man Online, which, hey, again, it was only for the Asian markets as far as I know, but nonetheless, it was a Mega Man game, which you cancelled. Is this some trend you feel like continuing? Because, quite frankly, it doesn't make any sense since all it does is waste time, money, and the patience of your loyal fanbase. Just because Sakaguchi leaves Square Enix or Squaresoft, and yeah, I know it's not the exact same reasons and pretenses, but still, it's not like they don't stop, it's not like Square Enix has stopped with their flagship title, Final Fantasy. Do they cancel games? Yeah. Do they remake? Yeah. Do they continue the franchise and produce games to their flagship title? Of course. Lately, Capcom, you seem to have given up on Mega Man since Inafune left. Maybe they're saving the Blue Bomber for a full-fledged return, maybe a next-gen return. I really hope this is the case, but Capcom, you gotta bring Mega Man back. This game had the potential, and you canned it, and honestly, I may sound pessimistic at this point, but I don't see it making a return. Armature is working on other projects, and maybe they might come back to work on this, who knows? But this was the legacy of Maverick Hunters, the first person Mega Man game that never came to be. Would you have bought this game? Do you want Capcom to re-kickstart this game again? I don't know. Tell me in the comments below. This has been another episode of Cancelled Gaming, and if you like what you saw, then like, comment, and subscribe. This is me, Mudahar, and I'm out.